So this, this is my first time here and I have never worked with cognitive science before. That's my sister's topic. Um, so I, I'm only familiar with uh, huma yeah, arts and humanities and uh, interdisciplinary research be between uh, the disciplines in humanities. So what this has um, this has led me to think that if we cooperate with cognitive sciences, although in first at first in instance I was quite um, reserved because one always has to be really careful when applying modern theories to ancient times because it's such a massive difference. Um, I think insights from cognitive science could actually help us to um, under better understand motives of people because what I've learned here is that um, brains work this in the same way and people experience uh, the, the brain processes experiences in the same same way as in ancient times as does now so I do think that it generally could uh, lead to new insights and new research projects and probably new well it would probably be, uh, be more successful um, be more successful in attracting grants as well So I only learned about the CAP uh, project when I arrived here in Aarhus and my visiting fellowship. I am working on Jewish ideas of diaspora identities and communities after the Bar Kokhba revolt. Um, and so when I heard about the CAP project, I was thinking, oh, that might be a new approach and just looking at textual evidence um, and trying to uh, look at the impact um, and how in the impact of the loss of the temple and the defeat of um, defeat of the Bar Kokhba revolt and subsequently the loss of Jerusalem, how that forced people into redefining their identity because that, those are very crucial elements to the Jewish religion, Judaism uh, at that time and how people cope with that trauma and the question that it raised and how these were answered. The new insights that I would um, consider applying in my research now uh, are the ideas of possession with re in relation to the Merkava mysticism and the because I'm also looking at uh, the emergence of Jewish mysticism as a result of uh, of this exile, this uh, the diaspora and the um, distortion between the earthly realm and the divine realm, and how the descenders into the chariot are functioning as mediators. So they're like they're agents, they're religious agents, and then I can look, look at the thought, uh, thought insertion and how they profile themselves to their communities. What I will bring home from this workshop is mainly the ideas of thought insertion by religious agents who are meditators in Jewish mysticism between the earthly realm and the divine realm. How was your first time here? That was a, my first time here at the workshop was quite a challenge because I had been to, I was totally unfamiliar with cognitive sciences and um, experimental uh, you would use of experiments in in the study of religion, so it was a true eye opener. Mm -hmm.